So it's always difficult to speak at the end, especially when you you prepare to speak before. Can youth work deliver? This is what Lane has just said. I mean, what I have prepared, you have already heard. So I thought of just saying really a few words rather than reading my speech and following the question that Lane has just said, can youth work deliver? I remember in 2018 when we were organizing in Malta the third youth work conference. In my first speech, I just tried to put in context what young people are going through, what we were going through at that time. There was a lack of security, there, there was a lot of migration going on, there was populism arising, there was a rise in political extremism, there was a growing author authoritarianism. Little did we know that uh, after a year or two, we would have a pandemic. And again, we had a pandemic, there is mental health now, a big digital divide, and the IT is growing is growing like mad. We don't know whether it's pervasive or not. In Europe, a war came about, as in some other countries in 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 in, in other parts of the world. And the question is, can Europe really deliver? I mean, during our conference at that time, and may I take you a little bit back? I mean, just to reflect back, we had a number of teams. We talked about strengthening youth work policy structures, capacity building, developing the competencies of youth workers, promoting professional practice, being informed and informing about the many issues that young people face in an incredibly turbulent world. But again, can youth work deliver towards these things? And I want to share just one thing to show you that youth work can deliver. I'm here representing Malta, but I'm also here representing the Council of Europe. I was the chair of the C Committee for Youth as soon as um, R R Russia showed aggression towards youth. Ukraine. And we had the youth department in Ukraine banging in a way on our doors. What can we do? How can the Council of Europe, how can the youth department work and support us in this situation? I remember I had a few people ringing me at that time. And I felt really helpless. I was asking myself, can youth work really deliver? What can I do as the chair of the Council of Europe to support these people? And throughout and throughout the meetings we had and the online meetings we had and people in the basement trying to contact us. I mean, we came up with a, a program on for, for the youth workers, for the young people through the Council of Europe, supporting them with funding, not that huge, but a big support. And the most interesting thing then, and the big satisfaction, was that in last May, when there was the Reykjavik summit, and all the member states, the heads of states of the Council of Europe got together, one thing which was really promoted was a youth work project in Ukraine. And I think this is the power of youth work. I think this is the power of youth work. And I will not go on because I'm sure that we will continue discussing and you will also hear from Ukraine what has happened and how these prog programs have, have worked and what, what we can do together to really put forward the power of youth work. But I want to end with 
fi some final words, which are really not my words. And again, to show you what the power of youth work is. It's a youth worker in Ukraine. And she said this to us. If you can do youth work, do it. These young people will eventually grow up with your involvement or without it. So if you can share something of value and importance, youth work allows you to improve the lives of young people in your community and in your village. So let's get together. I wish you luck and let's have three days discussing on how we can be more powerful and do the best for young people. Thank you.